another chit chat video and girl i was in the middle of doing a review of the unbrush that was i was unimpressed <laughs> so that video that, i'm so petty that review is coming but with this chit chat i'm going to be finger detangling my hair and basically sectioning my hair off um yeah i was unimpressed by, by that unbrush and i know it's been a while for it's been a while around for a while y'all know how we do this i talk about what's going on in my personal life what i'm watching on youtube and what i'm watching on tv girl a lot baby house of the dragons we're gonna get into it so y'all what's going on in my personal life my husband has been home for eight days He's going to be back. I mean, sorry. He's going to be here for another few days. And um, we've been enjoying him while he's here, right? So we went out to eat um, last, no, Saturday. We're going to go out to eat again on Saturday, next Saturday. And so just to spend some quality time with each other. Um, and so, yeah, we've really been enjoying him. Y'all, I told y'all, he saw my hair blown out. And he would not stop looking at me. First of all, everybody's losing weight. Everybody's losing weight but my fluffy ass. JB's down seven pounds. My husband's down 15 pounds. And he was already like, but now he's lean. I'm like, what the hell is going on? And so my husband was like, well, maybe if you, you know, eat some, you know, salads and eat more eggs and work out, maybe. That's dumb as hell. <laughs> dumb as hell he's right though but we'll get to it point being everybody's losing weight everybody looks good and shit i look good but I, i'm still chubby and it is what it is um and like i said child he came home with abs like you're 50 years old with abs y'all know how i am with older men you 50 years old with abs and side abs and i told him when he was in here getting ready i said you disrespectful this is disrespectful. He started laughing. I said, no, it's not even funny. You disrespectful coming up here with abs. Girl, y'all pray for me. I'm out of pocket. So, yeah, enjoying it. But speaking of, I have been working out. I've been working out almost every day, you guys. Even if it's 15 to 20 minutes, I've been walking on an incline on the treadmill. I'm giving myself some time. So, um, I ordered me some headphones so I could start um, walking outside. I like to walk outside. You get a little air. Yeah, so that's it, y'all. Ain't nothing else going on. JB had a mental day today. What I mean by that is that, let me say that. What I mean by that, he's not. It's nothing up going on. But I have always told JB, I don't know, this is just us. Of course, he has days where he's sick and he stays home. But for every school year, I remind him, baby, I'm going to give you three mental three mental days. That means that if you're just exhausted, if you just feel like you can't, you need a time off. I do that with my child. I said, I'll give you a day off. And I go a step above, a step forward, I mean, and I'll actually go get his schoolwork. Because he goes to a private school, we're able to do that. And so I'll go collect his schoolwork. And so that way he doesn't get behind. So he has his schoolwork here. And it's a mental day. And I told him, I said, unfortunately, you've used all your mental days. And he's like, I have? I said, yeah, you have. You've used all your mental days. I'm so sorry. And it is what it is. And so when he woke up this morning, it was a lot. I mean, he was tired. He was yawning. It was a lot to get him out. I mean, it was about 30 minutes of him yawning. And I was like, you want to have a mental day? He's like, mm, I need a mental day. Y'all have to understand, you know, just because kids are not working, you know, they don't have jobs and, you know, responsibilities as adults, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're not exhausted mentally. They just need some time to themselves. And sometimes he just wants some time to himself. Like right now, I know he's in his room. He's so cute. He's looking at some of his old books. I caught him in there looking at stuff he was drawing like five years ago. And the thing I like about JB, even though he's 11 years old, and there are some 11 year old children that are very, very like grown. My child is so innocent still. And we have done that. We, we have kept him in that childlike bubble but I know that soon we're going to have to not necessarily expose him, but let him know about some real life, you know, world stuff. And there's some things that he do know. 
but there's a lot of things he has no idea about. Like I told y'all, he just figured out who Nicki Minaj was just a couple of years ago. Yeah. So anyway, enough of that, y'all. YouTube, baby, all I've been hearing on YouTube is about Monique. Let me say this, and this is all I'm going to say about Monique. I have no issues with Monique. Girl, let me get some of this wine. First off, first off, my husband was like, have you seen the Monique uh, interview with, with Shannon? I said, no. Why don't you tell me about it? Since your ass clearly have seen it. Two hours long, baby. And Shannon, his team, they are milking it because they're breaking up the interview. My personal opinion is, let me say this. I have not seen the interview. I tried to get into it. After 30 minutes, y'all, I couldn't. I think that there is a lot that Monique says that is, tr that is truth. It's her truth. But I also feel like she's a type of person that says certain things to fit her agenda, wherever that means. Again, there's some truth in what she says, and you can't deny her truth because she lives it. But I also feel like Monique lacks, in a lot of ways, she she lacks accountability. Um, She's also nice nasty, which could be cute sometimes, but she does these backhanded compliments. Like she'll say, oh, and she gives away with, by saying, sweet baby. Oh, oh, hey, 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 sweet baby, I love you. And then say, you should have wore a girdle. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, hey, precious, <laughs> you you so cute, but uh, did you gain weight? Just very, very, and she's not passive aggressive. Like to me, I don't view her as a passive aggressive individual, but it's that nice, nasty type of, I'm a pray for you, but I love you and that that's what i can't get behind so again she's speaking her truth all i'm saying is that i didn't watch it and i'm not going to watch it but everyone's apparently talking about it um now i agree with her that look anything behind oprah is trash when you get to that level that Oprah is, you really don't give a damn. Let's just be honest. She doesn't she doesn't care what anyone thinks about her. She's Oprah Winfrey. She has a billion dollar industry. She's the 1%. You think they care about that? She's friends with freaking Harvey. What? You think she really cares? You think you would think they would, but she doesn't care. The people I am worried about that are going through it. It's like Taraji, who they've been showing, you know, sharing these clips of her, which I really, I really wish they wouldn't do that. So she needs to really, she needs someone to really cover her, y'all. I just, but yeah, not really paying attention to it. I keep seeing it. I'm not looking into it. Um, what else is going on? YouTube. Child, I saw real quick that somebody apparently went to Joel Osteen's church, shot up the church, show, and they took her out. Like, baby, you ain't gonna be able to do anything in Texas. Are you serious? They loaded. First of all, Texas is, y'all, I'm a true crime fanatic. Texas, Texas, baby, blame it on the alcohol. Texas is the reason why we got the concealed weapon. And they do, it was. <clears throat> Texas is the reason why we got that concealed weapon pushed. And it was due to that um that massive that mass shooting at Luby's. Yeah, I don't even I can't re remember if that was Fort Worth, <coughs> but it was here in Texas. And it's a backstory. Um a victim, so sad. Her parents were oh, there, and they were the woman who actually helped to get the law passed, her parents were killed. So they were all three there in the Lubies. And the Lubies, I think there was like cl close to 20 people were murdered in that poor Lubies. So sad. And so I just remember when they were interviewing her, and her father was shot, and she was trying to tell her mom, let's go. We got to go, you know, before he comes back. And her mom was like, I can't leave him. Oh, my God. So, she stayed, and the gunman came around and shot her. So, I guess my point is, is that Texas is so big on guns. <laughs> you ain't going to be able to get away with a mass shooting to that, which is why I'm so amazed that, not necessarily amazed, I'm shocked that all those kids were killed like that in Texas a couple of years ago. Because typically, so many people have guns just everywhere. Um, that's a school, though, so that's a little bit different. So, 
So anyway, y'all, enough of you two. What I'm watching on TV, let me tell you something. For the past week, Game of Thrones had me in such a chokehold. I was watching it while I was asleep, watching watching it while I was working. When people were getting on my nerves at work, I would call them peasants. I mean, <laughs> my one manager, he was talking to me. He was like, oh, I said, look, I'm watch, I, I, I'm I'm binge watching Game of Thrones. And he was like, oh, let, well, let me talk like a... He, he started talking. I said, oh, my grace, because I ain't gonna call nobody my Lord, because I got one Lord in heaven. So I had to respond back with my grace, because, um, no, we ain't gonna do that. So anyway, y'all, Game of Thrones. But why my ass didn't realize that Jamie and his wretched ass sisters were twins? So y'all, Game of Thrones, I'm gonna try not to give a lot of spoilers. Spoiler alert, Game of Thrones, baby. This is Flowers in the Attic meets Lord of the Rings. Let me tell you. So his teacher just emailed everyone. So anyway, y'all. Um, I loved it. I enjoyed it. And I binge watched all of it. Now, I had started Game of Thrones years ago. So I started at season three. And I know at the time that a lot of people were a bit upset about the season finale. And I'm so glad that I was able to catch it with all, all the noise. You know what I mean? I had no problem with the season finale. I actually liked it. Um, but there are just so many scenes and everything. And this is the thing. Now that I'm watching, I'm starting to notice people out in real life. They look like the characters I've been watching. So <laughs> when I was at the Dollar General a couple of weeks ago, there was a guy there restocking. He had red hair a beard, crazy um, facial expression. So you already know what he looks like, right? So I go up to him. I said, I'm so sorry, but I'm currently watching Lord of the Rings. No, Game of Thrones. I'm sorry. And I said, you look just like that redhead wild one. And he started laughing. He said, I get it all the time. I said, oh my God. Then I was at Panera Bread. The young boy at the front who got my order. I said, I'm so sorry. I'm currently binge watching. Look, I have to let you know this because you're going to be like, why the hell? You, what took you so long? I'm currently binge watching Game of Thrones. You know who you look like? He starts laughing. He starts smiling already. He's like, who? I said, you look like Theon, a.k.a. Reek. Baby, he, that tickled him. He started laughing so hard. He's like, I haven't heard that before. I said, yeah, you, you, look, you look like Theon. <laughs> so, yeah, I really enjoyed it. There's so many classic scenes from it. But let me tell you something. <laughs> you can't be eating looking at this movie when uh so series excuse me when that freaking red witch took off that necklace and she was looking at her so how did she look at her? she was like and then she scooping over to the bed and getting on the bed like a classic oh i'm like you don't sit your ass down and put that choco back on child and i did see the scene where she finally decided to take it off forever and go out in the dust i'm like serve your ass right she was evil, but she was not bad as the one who was torturing Theon. When I tell you I could not stand his ass, I could not, y'all. He's He was my most hated, like, but then there were some people who died, and I was like, what do you do that for? Like, the eunuch, you know, the one that didn't, didn't have no dealing, like, why they kill him? I was like, yeah, Lee. So I'm um, now I'm on the House of Dragon. At first, it was slow. Um, I'm on episode three, but I'm feeling it. I'm gonna try not to get a lot of spoil, give a lot of spoilers. But girl, they got a black black people in there. I just don't understand why do the what do you call them the Valerian? Why do they have white hair? Why? But what's so crazy is that, you know, I'm on episode three and the king is telling his daughter about the secret that shouldn't be, you know, communicated, basically shouldn't be shared. They're basically, there's this um, prophecy of this ending of mankind, which is going to come with the coldness. And we know Winter is coming. Child, when my sister told me that, y'all, the reason why I started watching Game of Thrones, like I shared on my community page, <laughs> last month when we had that winter storm, I was telling my sister, we're going to come visit y'all. She said, girl, you can't come up here. It's going to be a, 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 a snowstorm. Winter is coming. The White Walkers. I'm like, White Walkers? What the hell? <laughs> 
my sister's silly like me y'all but anyway um the father tells you know his daughter this prophecy that the end of mankind is so there has to be an heir there has to be somewhere there because they are pivotal they are very important when it comes to saving mankind we know that in the game of thrones maybe they have the actual what do you call it the seat with all the swords and stuff they show that but there's a lot more there which i'm assuming is because house of the dragon is approximately about 150 plus years before the game of thrones right let me tell you something i can already tell who's crazy when the brother came in, her uncle, Damon. First of all, his name was Damon. We already know. <laughs> we already know. He probably got 666 on one and that, all that blonde hair or white hair. His name was Damon. He's looking like an elfin king. He's just, he's just petty and evil for no reason. He wants to get two wives. Spoiler. He's trying to get two wives. And I was laughing my ass off because when they were meeting about it, and they were like, who's the second wife? And someone shouted, the whore. I'm like, yeah, Ali. <laughs> wow. So Damon got upset because the king did not declare him heir to the throne, but his daughter, because he's been waiting for a son. I'm, I'm not going to give a lot, but he's been waiting for a son. And since it didn't happen, he went ahead and made the daughter. Oh, Damon was upset. Da Child, Damon was like, give me that, give me that, um, that dragon egg, and <laughs> let me go back. Let me go back home. Is she going to show up, though? The daughter showed up. I was like, oh, yes, I'm here for this. So, yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Like I said, at first it was kind of slow, but I'm enjoying it. Another show I'm watching that is so good is True Detective. Let me tell you something. True Detective is it's a crime show, but it has a supernatural feel. And it starts from season one. Season one definitely has a supernatural feel. The The ending towards it is really creepy. I'm not going to give any, but it starts, season one starts with Matthew McConaughey. Y'all know me. I have a hate-love relationship with Matthew McConaughey. I know people that went to school with Matthew McConaughey, and I just feel like he plays up that accent, but he does what he wants to do. Anyway, Matthew McConaughey and the other one, he's also from Woody Harrison. He's also from um, Texas, too. Um, very good. We're on season four with Jodie Foster. So yeah, y'all don't think I'm funny. So I was watching Jodie Foster and I was noticing, I'm like, yeah, Alicia's little. Every scene, she looked like she's like two feet under people. And I'm thinking she has to be like 4'11", 4'12". She is so tiny. Why do I look up and she's, it says she's 5'3". And I'm like, do I appear that small to other Because she looks like a damn midget on screen. You know what? The screen get makes you appear 10 inches smaller. Like it gives you 20 pounds more. That's Yeah, that's what it is. So, so good. It has this other sister on there. She plays a half native, half black. I think in real life she, she's Dominican or something. So good, you guys. And the supernatural feel starts off right away with the season. Season four. I have HBO Max, but on YouTube. And it's very cheap. It's less than $10. Actually, it's less than $8. I think you can get it for like $6.99 a month. Get it, girl. It's on HBO Max through YouTube. True Detective Season 4. I am here for it. I'm also watching um, House of Dragon through HBO Max. So, y'all, I'm getting a little lit. I'm going to fix JB his biscuits. Look, y'all, look, this baby is eating. Like, I'm going to go in here and fix him biscuits he wants one pan pancake and eggs but you still you still losing weight <laughs> if i eat that i'm gonna gain 20 pounds it is what it is all right you guys thank you so much for watching take care bye